And the good news and stories of hope just keep coming. A teen with special needs is finally home after beating COVID-19. Two weeks ago, we showed you a community parade rallying for Tony Trimble. And as our Justina Coronel learns, it was that support that led him down the road to recovery. I've known since he was born he's a fighter. He has Prater Bully syndrome, uh, so he's had struggles his whole life. Since Tony Trimble was a little boy, the diehard sports fan has cheered on all the sports for the Lindbergh School District. But the community switched the roles to rally behind him after Tony was diagnosed with COVID-19. I was devastated. Hearing the news, family friend of 15 years, Kay Holland Reed stepped in after Tony was intubated at St. Louis Children's Hospital. We held a parade for Tony. He had been in there for two days. Tony's mom, Carol, says he only got worse. The lungs just kept getting worse and worse. Well, and then it was dialysis and a blood transfusion. Kay made a Facebook page so Carol could share supportive messages with him. And then I had the idea, let's get see if we can get Jason Tatum. And then that's when all the videos started coming in. What's up, Tony? This is uh, Jason Tatum. Hey, Tony. Colton Pareko here. Hey, Tony. This is Vladi. Myself and a bunch of other people are rooting for you to, to stay strong and keep fighting. Dozens of professional athletes and thousands of prayers came rolling in on his Facebook page. His mom played all the videos for him, and Tony started to get better. He could not believe that all these people did this for him and all these athletes that he lives up to were parading for him. His mom believes it was a team effort from the community that helped Tony beat COVID-19. I think that a lot of it is that he wanted to wake up and see these videos and I think that that has a lot to do with how hard he fought. Way to go, bud. Tony's shown he's a fighter once again. He's the first pediatric COVID-19 patient at Children's Hospital and was able to walk out of those doors as a survivor. Two weeks ago, the outlook was very bleak. To see him walk out, I I can't, I, I just, I have no words to, to say that it, it's just a miracle. Justina Cornell, Five on Your Side.